Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in uh, this photo underneath uh, the um, composition mode. So we're gonna just drag this and we're gonna stretch this uh, to the uh, to, until it fit, uh, fits the entire screen, as you can see, like so. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this photo under the green screen. <laughs> What's happening guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new After Effects tutorial. It is Friday, it means a brand new video for you guys and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use the green screen, how to remove the green screen, how to use a chroma key, anything like that. So if you guys are excited for this tutorial, make sure to smash the like button down below and I would say let's get started. So as you can see, this is just a small clip of mine uh, talking into the camera. This was, this was taken out of an OBS tutorial and we're going to remove the green screen and put something else behind it. So as you can see, we're gonna start off with removing the green. We're gonna come over to that little bar and we're gonna type in color key, as you can see. Then we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on this one. And as you can see, this menu pops up on the left. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this little blue box. So now that we can actually select uh, a green part of the video. So we're, I'm just going to click uh, right uh, here as you can see so now that this color is selected we're gonna mess around with the color tolerance the edge thin and the edge feather so we're gonna bring up uh, the color tolerance just a little bit more as you can see the background is slightly um, uh, disappearing we're gonna also mess around with the edge thin a little bit as you can see not too much and then with the edge feather, we're gonna do the same, but we're gonna just mess around with uh, the key uh, well the color so it will actually remove everything so as you can see we're gonna mess around with the green and until everything is co uh, completely dissolved uh, right now uh, we're just going to uh, choose this type of green we're gonna mess a little bit around with the feather uh, so it will actually look pretty accurate then we're gonna go to the uh, to uh, this one etch thin and we're gonna just bring it down a little bit until we don't see any of the green the color tolerance uh, we're gonna just put this one like so as you can see at the bottom is a little bit more is a little bit green left but that is because my green screen was not lit enough so we cannot unfortunately we cannot remove that without like destroying the entire image so now that the background is completely dissolved we're gonna just drag in another image under this layer so i'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag in uh this photo underneath uh the um composition mode so we're gonna just drag this and we're gonna stretch this uh, to the uh, to, until it fit, uh, fits the entire screen as you can see like so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this photo under the green screen and as you can see we have a nice uh, background and I'm gonna just go ahead to the uh, edge thin and change it up a little bit more so this is how to remove the background guys obviously you can uh, mess around with uh, the, 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 the like the type of green that you're working with uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put it like this. And if you play back the video, as you guys can see, we removed the green screen. We are now are transparent. You can add in anything you want. So this is basically how to do it, guys. That is how you create, uh, I mean, like remove the green screen uh, using a color key in After Effects. It is that simple. So thank you for the support. I'll catch you guys tomorrow uh, with a brand new video where I'm going to go into my analytics and show you guys some pretty detailed stuff about YouTube earnings. So make sure you stay tuned as well. So thank you for the support. Make sure to smash the like button and also the subscribe button below. So thank you and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Halford.